I get asked a lot of times what kind of tools or machines I use to make stop motion armatures or joints. Sometimes the question is where do you get the joints? Or how can I learn to make those armatures? The first armature that I ever made was for this puppet, Cytoplasmas, and now it's breaking at a lot of points. For example, here it's loosened, also here, but it still works in some places. This puppet was made with foam latex, so it's a kind of spongy thing. This was about 14 years ago. If we could open the body right now, the joints that you will find inside it will be like those ones. And they are pretty basic. And this is a standard two ball and socket joint made with two plates with the concentric holes in it. You can move each side. It moves nice, but it doesn't look nice. But well, it's inside the puppet, so you don't see it. I did that armature when I was studying my master in stop motion animation. So all the tools were from the school. They were pretty basic, just a column drill and some hand tools, nothing super fancy but at least the basic tools to make a ball and socket armature. When I finished that course I had no more the tools, so after a while I decided to ask help to my parents, and with their help I bought this, that's a milling machine, that was awesome, but I had one big problem, that I didn't know anything about machining, so I had to learn the basics on machining, watching YouTube videos, and it took a while to understand how it worked, but once I did that, I was able to machine a lot of stuff, but then I realized that if I wanted to make good ball and socket joints, I needed another machine. This is the second machine that I needed to make these ball and sockets. This is a lathe, it's not a common lathe, it's like a Frankenstein. And I learned everything about lathe working with this one, so that's awesome. Then I keep asking more and more precision to my joints, so I move to a bigger lathe. And this is the lathe that I work right now with. It's a lot bigger, a lot more powerful. So yeah, those are the two main tools, a milling machine and a lathe. The main difference between a lathe and a milling machine is that in a milling machine what turns is the tool, the bit in that case, and, and in the lathe you turn your part and the tool stays in place. most of my joints right here in those machines except bigger joints like number 6 and number 12 that, I, that they are 
but they are made in inox and they are built in a factory near here. I know that starting from zero seems intimidating and it's hard. It really is. For me, it took some years to get to the point that I know how to deal with every puppet. But if I could, you also can. It's very satisfying when you make something and it works. So yeah, the process is awesome. two ways of making armatures. One is making your own joints using those machines and number two is just buying the joints. There are a lot of suppliers out there and you can just buy them and your work then is cutting the roots and silver soldering all, all together. Making armatures that way it's not easy, I don't want to lie to you. Uh, but it's really rewarding and it's great to see your puppet when it's full assembled and it really works and you can if you animate you can animate it so you have the full experience. And 